Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm going to do a whole series on how to's for your Garmin EcoMap chart plotters. I'm using Garmin EcoMap Plus 93 SVs, and uh, today's video is going to be how to update the chart plotters to the um, newest version. So let's get into it. One thing I forgot to mention was before I started this video, I went to my uh, Active Captain app and it showed me all the updates that were available for my Garmin units and I had to download them onto the iPad first. So that would be your first step is to download those, get them on the iPad, and then from there you could start transferring them over to the Garmin uh, EcoMap. So once you're done uploading the new software onto your iPad, um, it's going to show you it's going to transfer over to your Garmin chart plotter. So you'll see up here transferring software updates. We're at about 54%. This will take a couple minutes and then once it sends it over to the Garmin, we'll go to the Garmin screen and show you uh, what happens from there. All right, so after your iPad or iPhone, computer, whatever you end up using to get the uh, update onto your chart plotter, you're gonna see this screen. Uh, it'll say software updates are ready for installation on your system. So you're just gonna go ahead and hit the review button. It's gonna show you what version you're downloading. This one's the new version 1030.0. So now we're just gonna go ahead and hit the install now button. It says the update takes a long time to complete and must not be interrupted. So you can't shut your EcoMap Plus off during the download. So we're going to go ahead and hit yes for continue. And it's going to go ahead and download. This could take anywhere from like five minutes to 15, 20 minutes. Just depends on how fast it goes and how, how big the download is. So we'll wait until this is done. Now that that's finished, it'll restart the Garmin. Okay, now the update's complete, so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK to restart the device. It'll show you the version it's currently running. Make sure that's the new version you're supposed to get on the chart plotter. This is just the normal screen when you turn it on. Hit Agree. I'm in my garage right now, so it's not going to actually show a lake, but uh, that's it. It's all done downloading. So if you want to double check, make sure you have the right version. You could always turn off the Garmin, turn it back on, and it'll read what version you're using. All right, guys, that's all. Pretty simple. A um, couple things to remember. You have to have a 32 gigabyte memory card. Um, for some reason Garmin won't let you use anything less than 32 or more than 32. I've tried a couple different ones and you, you have to have that 32 for it to work. Um, also you have to uh, download the updates to your iPad or your iPhone, whatever you're using. You have to get them on there first and when you open that Active Captain app, um, it'll show you any updates that are available. So get them on the iPad, iPhone, and then go to your Garmin, turn it on and get it all set up like I showed you in the video. If you guys have any questions, uh, leave them down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We'll have more uh, Garmin series how-tos coming up. And if you like the videos, hit the like button. Thanks for watching, guys.